What is going on, guys? Adam here, Tennessee Lawns. I I know the the audio is not that great. It's kind of echoey in here, which kind of sucks. Uh, so hopefully you guys can grin and bear it. So this video is going to be about the 2020 lawn care season. It's basically a recap, kind of let you know where I'm where I am, guys, in my business, things like that. And it's not that good, to be honest with you. Uh, it's just not. It's not that great, uh, you know. And my my goal is to be completely one hundred percent honest with you guys. And you know, let's just jump into it. Starting out the season, I started the season out with my cousin uh, Brian. Uh, I'm gonna roll some stuff right here. You guys can kind of see what's going on. Everything, all the footage that you see right here will all be from the twenty twenty season. So, but anyways, started the season out with my cousin. Uh, we had some discussions about maybe starting a business together, and that's kind of what we did. We went through uh, January, February, which nothing was going on then. But January, February, we just spent that time building up equipment and things like that, buying a new trailer, got a new mower, got another mower. Uh, geez, I think we bought three mowers and two weed eaters, uh, edge trimmer, a hedge trimmer, and an edger. And actually, a couple blowers, <laughs> a PV a PV seven seventy backpack blower. So we we bought some equipment, and uh, you know, so we went out, and I started hustling, guys. Like I started pushing our business online like crazy. Started pushing, uh, you know, signs out there, all kinds of stuff. Really, just hustle, 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 and it really paid off for us. And you know, we went through the month of March. We had a little bit of stuff coming in. It wasn't anything crazy. Uh, you know, we may have had like a couple mulch jobs and a few yards coming in, people getting on the schedule, things like that. I think the first month we probably had 10 yards. So we get through that. And then now the first week of April, that was the freaking week, guys. I mean, calls started rolling in like crazy. We went from like 10 yards to like 22 yards like that. Like it was crazy how many people called and just getting on the schedule. People wanting mulch done. People wanting bed cleaning done. People wanting, you know, bushes trimmed, trees removed, tree planting, stump grindings. I mean, it was just crazy the amount of st the stuff that people had called. And, you know, it was, it was just crazy, needless to say. But so... You know, we had the first week of April, we had, you know, close to a $4,000 a week. And uh, so we took some money out to the side, whatever, put some back for the mower and, you know, paid paid the couple guys that helped us out. And, you know, everything was all hunky-dory. After that, things kind of started going downhill. He didn't really want to come help, whatever, using his dog, his wife having a nervous breakdown over the dog and all this stuff. And... I, I it wasn't didn't take long for me to realize that he 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 had checked out. He was done. Uh, you know that first week, man, of of April, where we really crushed it. You could tell at the end of that week he was he was done. He had checked out. So and then after that, you know, the last couple times he worked with me, uh, you know, you, he was just real quiet. You could tell he was just he was done. So, anyways. Uh, it is what it is. I'm not going to get any further into that. He took his mower and he took the couple things that, you know, he took a few things that he brought in, into the business or whatever, and it is what it is after that. So, now, moving forward, that left me with my my Cub Cadet Zero Turn R, RTZ 50. Guys, look, a lot of people are like, oh, you're a fanboy of Cub Cadet, all this stuff. No, I'm not. They're just cheap mowers. They're cheap to get. And, uh, you know, parts for them are super cheap. And I know you get what you pay for. I understand that. I'm not telling you guys to go out and buy Cub Cadet mowers and all this stuff. The, the residential stuff, the old residential stuff. Now, I'll be honest with you, that mower that me and him got at the beginning, or that he got at the beginning of the year, that's a hell of a mower. That is a hell of a mower. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'd like to get one of those mowers and put a full season on it and just kind of see how it plays out. But that is a that is a damn good mower. Uh, I mean, it cuts good. It 
you know, the, the deck flows good, uh, and, you know, until you mow tall, thick, wet grass, but everything doesn't crop great in tall, thick, wet grass, but, it, you know, that's a, it's a solid little mower. If you guys ever, if you guys are coming up this season and you're thinking about starting a lawn care business and you got $3,000 to go spend on a mower, uh, that's not a bad little, uh, that's not a bad option for you. So anyways, getting, getting on, moving on to the, to the season. So, uh, after that first week, you know, and he'd call, you know, he just couldn't, just kept, you know, piddle farting around about coming to help me. Uh, that was actually April 17th is when, that was the last day I seen, see my cousin out there in front of my house. Uh, he come by took the mower, took a few things, and he went on. That left me with my zero-turn mower uh, that I have now. And I noticed as we were working up until that point that the pump on this side, as I would get through the yard, uh, it would kind of, the longer it run, it would start start to weaken up on the, on the left side of the mower. So I knew that, that we were either going to have to put a new pump on it eventually or rebuild it. And, uh, you know, when he dipped and left me with that mower, I was kind of, you know, pissing in the wind pretty much. So, I, uh, just kept trying to get through the, kept getting, trying to get through each, each rotation, the schedule and things like that. And it would just get a little, a little worse, a little worse until finally to the point where I was, mowing the front yard, and then I would weed eat the whole yard, and then mow the backyard. That's kind of where I was at with with mowing with that mower. So, because I didn't have time to take the pump off of it, and tear it completely down, and rebuild it, and put it back together, and put it on there. And a new one is like six, seven hundred dollars. So, at that point, I was like, you know, what do I do? So, I slapped some money together and went and bought that walk behind, which I probably should have just rebuilt the damn uh, pump, you know. But I didn't. That's what I did. And uh, needless to say, I no longer have the zero-turn mower. So all I have is my little walk behind, and here's why. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. So we, we push through the season. We get up into, you know, late July, early September, and uh, the rear end and the trailblazer, I blow the rear end out of it. And I'm just like, you know, this season could not get any worse. Like 2020 was probably the worst season in lawn care in history of Tennessee lawn care or lawns, whatever. I had to change my name to Tennessee lawns because there's a Tennessee lawn care here in uh, the area. So, and he's been here before me, but through social media and stuff, we found each other, so, anyways, uh, so, it's the worst, uh, the worst lawn care season in, in Tennessee lawns history, so, uh, pretty much that put me to where I could only cut the yards in my neighborhood, because I ordered a bunch of parts for the, the trailblazer, but they were on back order because of COVID, all this stuff that was going on, it just really, it was a complete crap show, around here, and, uh, I was just kind of fed up, and, you know, I, I was still mowing the yards in the neighborhood, so I still had my yards in the neighborhood, which is not that many, you know, so I had to go to work, so I, I come across this DoorDash thing, and I started DoorDashing and mowing, uh, around here, so that's where I'm at right now, uh, and, it's not a fun place to be. I mean, I could go to work. I could go to work, but I, you know, what am I going to do? Go get a dump truck job in the middle of the winter? You know, it's not, you're not going to get a ton of hours. So I make pretty good money door dashing. So, uh, that's what I'm doing right now, uh, and getting geared up for the winter or getting geared up for this season. So, uh, I, I've got another business partner and I know you guys are probably like, man, you are crazy, dude. You are absolutely nuts. But, uh, I don't want to do this alone. Uh, I feel like in order to attack this the way I want to attack it, uh, you need a business partner. So uh, I've got I've got I've got a business partner. 
you know, he's in the business. He already knows what to expect. He, he does it right now. He's doing it right now for a big business here in Knoxville. Uh, they're probably one of the largest uh, lawn care companies, lawn and landscape companies here in Knoxville. So he knows what's up. He knows all about it. He knows everything. He's super good at hardscapes, uh, super good at landscaping. He knows what, what it's going to take to do the jobs and everything. And you guys will meet him. His name is Omar. Uh, really good, solid dude. Uh, he might be a little shy in front of the camera and stuff, but I think this right here is going to drive us over because he is just as dedicated as I am. And uh, that's what this this needs right here. So that's where we're at in the business. Uh, I'm going to start shooting video. I'm going to be more committed to the, the YouTube page, bring you guys, share everything. And I'm just going to be straight up honest with you guys. And I have been this entire year, this whole this whole past year of uh, lawn care videos. I've been 100% honest, have a lot about crap. So uh, I'm not going to try to portray anything to you guys. It is what it is. Uh, we don't have a ton of money to be, you know, forking over and throwing out to, to lawn care. I'm maxed out with credit because I've got motorcycles and cars and all this stuff because that's the stuff that I bought. Uh, before uh, we thought about doing lawn care. I wish I'd have never bought that stuff because if I knew we were getting into lawn care, I'd have a bunch of uh, brand new mowers sitting back there. Not a bunch, but you know, a couple brand new mowers sitting back there. So that's why you don't see a new mower sitting back there because I can't get one right now on my credit because I've got two Groms on there. I've got a G35 on there. Plus I got credit cards on there. You know, so my credit is kind of we're kind of maxed out where we can be to where I can just run out and go buy a new mower. I would love to do that. Trust me. If I could, I would. So, but right now we're going to make some moves. I'm excited. Let's get geared up and hope 2021 is a hell of a lot better than 2020. And, uh, like I said, I'm excited. I'm excited about, uh, me and Omar attacking this together. Uh, he's working real hard. He's building his money up and stuff. We still got to buy some machines and, you know, we got to figure out what we're going to do. I got to get the trailblazer out, get it over to Jake's shop, let him rebuild that rear end of that thing and maybe get it back on the road and kind of salvage up what we have so we can pick this up and go forward. So Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll bring another video out here really soon. Uh, we got some stuff in the back. I want to get a cover built for the, the backyard and, uh, you know, for the mowers and stuff and get my toolbox in there and all that stuff, a place to, a nice place to get out of the weather and work on the mowers and stuff. So I'm committed, 100% committed. I know you guys have heard that to me before, but you guys are still my subscribers that I have on this channel are super damn faithful. I can't, I can't, dude, it just, I need to have like some sort of giveaway at some point just, just for my faithful subscribers. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment, rate, subscribe, hit that like button. It helps the analytics of YouTube to push the channel and keeps us motivated to keep making videos. So hit the like button. If you're here, hit the like button. It takes two seconds. Click, click, click. That's all you got to do. Anyways, comment, rate, and subscribe. Keep mowing. Never stop.